In today's video, every modern army is currently defending the beaches of Normandy. They've got Sea Whiz turrets, they've got M1 Abrams, and a wide variety of soldiers with them, along with a little bit of artillery in the way back, including TOS systems and a few tactical nuke launchers. What they're going to be going up against is every World War II army coming forward in LCVP Higgins boats. It is going to be an incredibly deadly battle with thousands perishing but it should be awesome so if you guys do enjoy this video please be sure to hit that like button subscribe with notifications turned on and comment down below now let's get into it what's up gamers i'm here to tell you about instant gaming instant gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games uh seriously it's like 60 to 95 percent off as you can see here uh these are all of the star wars titles they have they literally have every star wars title uh you can also get XCOM here men of war assault squad 2 all of the games i play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices if you use my affiliate link in the description it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then boys the higgins boats begin to move on forward here uh and what we're dealing with in terms of world war ii units is every nation in ultimate epic battle simulator 2 so we've got the british army the german army u.s army uh japanese army and the russian army in addition to that, there will be some Sherman tanks coming in and uh, some German Panzers, uh, particularly the Panther. Uh, so the Panzer V. Uh, here we go. Very nice. You can see a wide variety of soldiers already here. I'm seeing Brits. I'm seeing Russians. I'm seeing Germans. Not seeing Americans quite yet. Nope, there's some Americans there. Very nice. And they're all coming forward. Now, there are four million of them, but there is a glitch in the map where every few soldiers ends up dying. So you can see at the top right, uh, some of them are already dying. And it looks like actually some snipers, uh, ghillie suit snipers for uh, the modern soldiers are already firing in here as well as some Abrams fire is coming in as well. So the modern army is already starting to get kills as you can see here. But on top of that, the glitch when they get off the Higgins boats, a bunch of uh, soldiers end up dying due to crunch. Um, and we'll call it drowning, I suppose, because that kind of makes sense. So that is why there is uh, a depleting number of soldiers for the World War II armies at the moment. But the modern army only has a quarter of a million soldiers. So they're outnumbered, what, like crazy amount, like 16 to 1, I believe is what it is, which is quite a bit. Uh, the drowning will help with that, but other than that, it is up to them to get the W. Here's some missiles coming in. Alrighty then. Big kills already, almost 10,000, and one modern soldier has died. I'm not entirely sure where on the battlefield they ended up dying because no one is really that close, but eventually these World War II units will end up firing. We've done these battles with ancient soldiers, uh, Roman soldiers, uh, we've done it with medieval soldiers you know we've done this with quite a number of different factions however we have never done it with world war ii soldiers assaulting and these guys actually have bullets they can fight back with not just bows and arrows and shields and swords so it'll be a whole different beast for the modern army to defend and i'm very curious to see what you guys think do you guys think that the modern army is going to prevail here or do you think the world war ii armies will end up winning but we do have a variety of modern army units here is the u.s soldiers right here we've also got un soldiers up top um we've got there's more u.s soldiers here's some ghillie suit russian snipers right here over this way who are these guys ah these are our korean soldiers which is a new unit and wow do they look bad um okay interesting unit interesting i would never used those before that's my first time laying eyes on them so that's fun uh here's the insurgents who look 10 times better <laughs> they're nice and uh we'll go down this way oh sea whizzes are firing away and they'll probably get a ton of kills 1500 dead modern soldiers right now 70,000 dead attacking soldiers world war ii units baby uh right here we've got the fbi agents they're nice. They're equipped with Glocks. And then that means over here is the United Nations soldiers. Yes, in their blue armor right there. Uh, and it looks like they are actually getting directly attacked by some World War II units over here. And they're able to fire down off of the hillside and just absolutely wipe out tons of these guys, delivering a ton of damage. Uh, and that's one nice thing is that I think the World War II units' range is definitely lesser 
than like these augs that they're firing right now and stuff like that so you know world war ii units they're gonna pack a lesser punch because they have lighter weaponry uh you know rifles they fire at a slower rate and they have weaker range than the modern units so there's a lot of drawbacks for the world war ii units and that is showing right now because they have 178,000 kills on the world war ii units and the world war ii units have about 17,000 kills which means that it's about uh you know was that 100 kills for every modern soldier killed something along those lines it's it's pretty cool actually uh, i'm not seeing the world war ii tanks coming in just yet oh wait oh no the german panzers came in and apparently immediately died that's really bad oh oh there should be more than that though uh so maybe they'll come in in later boats because as you can see constant soldiers are pouring in basically over here and uh, yeah the world war ii units will get a lot more reinforcements on the battlefield eventually but for right now this is what they're working with you can see right here at some of these i don't even know what they are. are these tank traps technically i think they are to block vehicles they're just cement blocks though they're not like the hedgehog tank tank traps uh but these guys are using them as a little bit of cover which is probably helpful for them but even still they're just getting absolutely slaughtered a ton of the soldiers coming in further back are also just getting butchered before they can even get a shot off and the ones that are getting shots off are dying very very quickly man watching these machine guns just rattle off tracer round after tracer round is just look at that it just pours hellfire onto these world war ii units that is incredible just roasting and toasting anyone who dares to step in its path brutality right there so there's 3.2 million world war ii soldiers left alive at this point uh, and there's 204,000 modern soldiers left alive right now it is going to be a tight battle and that is for sure but it's definitely one that i'm very excited for all right the flanks over here aren't really getting attacked but the flanks over there with the unr so that's kind of an interesting thing to see and so yeah actually the entirety of the un right here is opening up and then even some of these fbi agents are starting to get involved on the battlefield here they've just got glocks so they're definitely one of the weaker modern units on the battlefield but still kind of fun to see them in action and right now the tos systems nor the nuclear tactical missiles are going to be firing uh because they're just not close enough to the enemy which is kind of funny because they're like artillery so they should yeah i'm not going to question it too much <laughs> All right, why don't we go ahead and do a little time lapse here? The time lapses will be pretty short, but it's still kind of cool to watch, uh, especially with this type of Sea Wiz fire. Um, and we'll do a quick time lapse with 186,000 modern units left alive, 3.12 million World War II units left alive. Okay, so a brief time lapse right there, and we are already at 653,000 kills for the modern units and 98,000 for the World War II units. Obviously, the World War II units are starting to pick it up a little bit here. They're starting to get a lot more kills than they were previously because they're getting soldiers actually to the front lines, which is very, very helpful. But, you know, them being more and more clustered together like this is allowing the Sea Wizards to just absolutely dominate. Look at that, man. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful is a beautiful beautiful sight that is that is crazy the amount of shredding those things are doing man the abrams i'm guessing are getting damaged yeah they're getting damaged a little bit not too bad yet so they're still able to fire out looks like each of them has lost about 2000 3000 damage and they do have 20000 in total to lose so they're pretty tanky units uh 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 get it get it that's hilarious okay because they're tanks um <laughs> Even some of these guys back here, I think, are just catching strays, literally, because they're all bloodied now. So, yeah, they're catching some strays up there. Uh, even some of the ghillie suit snipers are catching a few strays. These guys are really nice because they do have very, very, very good range. They don't have, like, crazy kill potential. I'm not getting any hits there um, because they don't do a ton of damage, but it's always nice to have them because they will kill for pretty much the entirety of the battle they have that good of range they can just hit from any distance which is just a helpful thing obviously to have in your military the world war ii units are down to 2.5 million 
So they've lost 1.5 milli in total. Uh, some of those are likely due to the crunch slash drowning, um, and a lot are also likely due to explosions not always being counted as kills for the units. So um, the rest are from basically bullet wounds which is the 880,000 that the modern units have inflicted upon them, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm wondering how the UN is holding up, because they have not been having a great time. Also, remember, we still got the nukes and the tosses, so that's going to be really nice. Hmm. Over here, World War II units are climbing up here and starting to attack the FBI. That's gonna be bad. Mm-hmm. Because that'll open up a flank route if they defeat the FBI, and that's, that's not a good thing. Uh, the UN is still holding out pretty nicely here. Uh, they are much stronger than the FBI, I would say, with their AUGs, so hopefully they can get more kills than the FBI. But they're also kind of getting flanked around this way. Hmm. Not a good thing. Uh-uh. Not a good thing at all. No siree, Bob. We really need the center to hold tight. And luckily, that is where we have more US soldiers. We do have the ghillie suit snipers, and we've got, like, the insurgents and... <laughs> curious to see how these uh, Korean soldiers end up doing because they they look terrible but maybe they're good what kind of shot is that it sounds like a it sounds like he's shooting a bow what are you doing this is like the worst character model ever also they they look like like white Americans they don't look Korean at all <laughs> Just what an awkward unit. Here's the insurgents. Oh, they've taken a few losses. They look so good compared to the Koreans. Dude, how far up do I have to shoot to get hits? Okay, right there, apparently. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, so yeah, the Abrams still alive. The U.S. soldiers at the bottom still alive. Uh, we still got, of course, our ghillie suit snipers over there. And then we've still got a bunch of U.S. soldiers up here, too. Still alive, still able to crack at some of these enemies when they come. Sea Wiz is still firing. TOS systems and nukes, I'm hoping, will start firing soon because we're going to start needing them, that's for sure. Uh, we got 2.1 million World War II soldiers left alive, 115,000 modern soldiers left alive. Very, very curious as to how this is going to end up going uh, at this point because it is. It is going for the modern soldiers, but it's um, it's not over. It, they're, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. Let's time lapse a little bit more here and watch as the World War II soldiers continue to pummel the beaches. All right, boys. The Sea Wiz machine guns are still spinning up and well, uh, not all of them. Not all of them. That's not good. Let me let me see if I can. Which one even am I? Oh, I'm invisible. All right, I'll leave it be. <laughs> hey, we got some kills. Nice. Okay. Uh, I don't think that was as helpful as when they do it, but it is what it is. Modern soldiers up here also having to fight against World War II soldiers starting to clamor up this way. Quite a number of American shotgunners up here, and that's because they have to get a little bit closer than all the other units, of course. When are those tosses gonna fire? When are y'all gonna go off? They just gonna sit back here and die? Maybe I'll send them out. Let's send them out. Yeah. You guys can go attack. Y'all just get up into range and then start firing because uh, back here you're doing nothing. You're just getting shot by loose strays and I'd rather have you firing. So there we go. Toss systems are gonna be entering the battlefield now, which will hopefully be helpful for the US Army um, well it's all all the all the armies <laughs> and we'll do we'll do the same for the for the nukes why not get the nukes out there these are these are desperate times because the modern soldiers are not not coping very well their front line is almost completely dead uh, their Abrams are starting to die as well they're definitely suffering the World War II units are coming forward lethally still and uh, they're getting quite a number of kills Let's see if I can. boom Dang it. Hey, the German units are some of the few units that actually have iron sights, which is kind of fun. I do like that quite a bit. They're doing 35 damage a pop. That's better than the insurgents who are doing 25. Heck yeah. Okay, but I'm missing quite a bit. Wait, do the American soldiers have uh, iron sights? Come on. Hold on, let me see. Oh, they do. Heck yeah. I think if it's an official tabs unit, they do. Um, but let's see, uh, where's an unofficial unit? Um, 
got all these guys running in. It's only Germans and Americans right now. I'm not seeing any of the Brits, the Russians, the Japanese. Maybe I gotta go to like the other side of the battlefield for that. Maybe all those fellers are somewhere else. By the way, 1.77 million kills. Uh, there's a Russian. Come here. All right, let's see. Oh, I died before I could try it. Wait, hold on. 1.77 million kills for the... Um, whoa, that's a nuke. Oh, no. That's all right. The nukes aren't really all that devastating. Uh, they're, they're really good. They're solid. Um, but they're not nearly as devastating as, like, the actual nuke in tabs, the god ability. Um, and they die super easily. These things, really a few loose strays will kill them pretty absolutely. It's the TOS systems that are definitely a little bit more deadly. Um, so, but again, they are coming pretty far forward um, right now. But that's because I, I ordered them to. I think it's important that... The modern soldiers get to use everything uh, because things are not looking super good for them right now. And uh, the, the TOSs and the nukes weren't being utilized in the slightest. Um, but, yeah, this one's definitely going to go down pretty soon. But the nuke comes out there. Get some kills. Not too many, though. Yeah, it's just like a big bomb. It's just like a super big bomb. It's not like an actual nuke which would, like, devastate the entire battlefield. If we used it, for example, here, I'll, I'll shoot one off way out there. That's the actual nuke. It, it won't make it far enough over here. Maybe there's a little bit of radiation or something like that that would hit these guys. But as you can see, all of them are still fine. But yeah, the actual nuke, way bigger than those ones. But if you've been watching the channel for a while, you probably already know that. Um, but at the moment, it seems like the World War II units are devastating pretty much the remaining frontline infrastructure here for the U.S. Army. Um, there's a small pocket here. I'm very curious as to why these guys have somehow managed to survive for much longer. I guess there's kind of these sand dunes up here. Maybe that's preventing the World War II units from firing as much. This flank over here is like getting absolutely devastated and ravaged. Um, somehow these modern soldiers back here are still alive, but I guess, yeah, the, the World War II units do have to come up here and fire in order to shoot at these guys. So that, that does make some sense. The Sea Wizards are all dead though. Um, some of the nukes and the TOSs are starting to die, especially over here, where, yes, these World War II units have sort of uh, clobbered them, surrounded them, and are now pushing towards the other ones over this way. Um, like, this nuke is down. These ones are still alive, these TOSs. These TOSs are dead, though, so those might not be super effective for long. There's another nuke going out this way. That'll be cool. Let's see it, baby. Woo! Very nice. Uh, but then over here, oop, I did not mean to place that, but I don't think it'll do anything. Um, the Korean army is still just vibing, which is fascinating to me <laughs> because they're so garbage. Um, well, they're so garbage looking, and it sounds like they're shooting crossbows. So they might have not used the, the gun weapon for that character customization. I don't know. The insurgents over here also doing pretty well. I have to say the far right side actually is still very intact and I think that's because the World War II units barely focused on that but then the far left side is very much so not super duper intact currently. Uh, 78,000 remaining uh, US soldiers and only 350,000 remaining World War II soldiers. Wait, are they done shipping in new? Hold on. Is anyone new going to be coming in? There are boats entering. They're not dropping anyone off. Okay, so everyone on the battlefield currently is what is remaining. And it seems to actually be mainly World War II shotgunners. I think the Brits, the Japanese, and the Russians came forward in the first few waves. And now it's almost all American shotgunners. Which is arguably the weakest unit of the World War II units unless it comes to close-up combat. Um, and which is the most powerful. But at a distance shooting, these are definitely the weakest units. So... I think the World War II units saved their worst units for last, which obviously not a very good viable strategy there. And that might actually allow the modern units to take the dub here due to the fact that there's only, there's like literally only American shotgunners coming up. That's so bad. Also, the World War II tanks got eliminated so quickly. I don't know what the deal is with that. There's some dead Japanese soldiers up here. But again, they were in the earlier wave, so they're like all dead now. I'm not even seeing any Germans anymore who we were seeing just a few moments ago. So I'm not entirely sure where those Germans went off to either, Commandant. Yeah, I don't know. It's literally all American shotgunners, which really does not bode well for these guys. 160,000 World War II units. 
versus 77,000 modern units. I think the modern units are going to clutch this up, though it came extraordinary clo extraordinarily close for a little while there. Why don't we time lapse the ending here and watch these guys get blown to smithereens on the beach? Well, there we go, boys. There's only 2,000 shotgunners remaining, so let's send out the rest of the modern units to go hunting. That's something people have been asking me to do more is to, at the very end of the battle, set the defenders free uh, and let them do some hunting because it's fun. Uh, although some of these guys aren't even moving, but here we go. Some of them are gunning it. They're going for it, baby. Now, honestly, uh, I think the TOS and nukes ended up... Uh, probably being less helpful than if I had just let them be. I think that was kind of a mistake on my part because the nukes and the TOSs ended up losing about half of their force I saw. Um, and I think, I honestly, I think they would have kept their full force if I had just left them where they were, which was like back here. Yeah, it was back here because you could see the blood spurts where they were getting shot. Um, and the enemy only ended up making it to right about here. And these TOS systems and nukes ended up going down because I sent them forward. So I think if I had just like left them be, they would have lost less TOSs and probably less modern soldiers would have died as a result. So that's my bad. I think sending them forward was a mistake, uh, but still it ended up being a happy victory. I think even without the nukes in the TOS, actually the modern soldiers were geared up to defend tooth and nail till the end. Um, because they still have 76,000 troops. I think the TOSs and uh, nukes did end up saving them about probably like 25k, but I think they still would have clinched it. I, I still think they would have won, but it was a close game, man. It was a very, very close game, and I especially think if the uh, World War II units had sent forward their shotgunners with everyone else, it would have been a better match as well because they just left their worst units to the very end which you you want your best units at the end as closers so that was not a smart idea either way guys that's going to be about it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below i'll see you on the next one peace i hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever i live stream or upload thanks so much